Hello everybody! Um, today in this video I want to talk or not talk, I'm gonna just give you my advice in the path that you should follow when you're learning to program and when you are learning to become a front-end or a full-stack developer. If you are new to everything and you want to make websites, you want to make you want to make your idea come true, and you want to be a freelancer or whatever, the first thing that you should start programming, uh, learning, sorry, it's uh, HTML and CSS. That is like the cornerstone of all the front-end and web development that you want to do. Um, HTML and CSS is like the first thing that everybody must learn uh, because that teaches you um, a little bit of um, text editors, a little bit of how the browsers work, a little bit of how the files work. And it's not programming, but still it's a very good um, start, right? So after you touch um, HTML, CSS, then the next step is to learn a bit of JavaScript. And by a bit, I don't mean buy a book of JavaScript or like get some crazy course on JavaScript. No, just do very small stuff on JavaScript, the stuff that you can understand and don't learn stuff that you don't need. So when you say learn JavaScript, there is people that learn JavaScript for their whole life, even me, and I still don't know how to do something, I still discover something new. So it's very vague to say just learn JavaScript, right? What you should learn, what you should focus is learn vanilla JavaScript. Vanilla JavaScript is the term that we uh, use for JavaScript without any libraries, JavaScript without any makeup, just ugly, raw JavaScript, all right? Learn it on the way that you feel comfortable modifying HTML with JavaScript. This means making HTML interactive with only JavaScript, with no help from any library. This is my second point. You shouldn't learn libraries uh, at the beginning because what you learn is the library, but you don't understand how it works under it and what's happening um, behind the curtain, right? So if you start learning jQuery, for example, you're going to understand how jQuery works. You're going to understand how to make a fade in in jQuery or something like that. But you're not going to understand how does the fading happen or what is this function doing or you don't know what the fuck is a function. All you know is jQuery stuff, right? So try to stay away from libraries, try to stay away from any kind of um, framework and all that stuff. Learn vanilla JavaScript first, right? And I have three projects for you that will show you that you know JavaScript pretty well. The first one will be make a fucking to-do list. That is like the, the hello world of JavaScript, right? Make a to-do list. That was the first thing, okay? That to-do list and you're good. That'll be it. Next thing that you could do is try to learn how to make small, uh, small interactions on your website. This means add some animations when somebody clicks. This means when somebody scrolls, maybe show the header of the website in a different way. Maybe make a video player. Maybe, uh, I don't know, fuck, so many stuff we can do. Uh, maybe make a, yeah, just interactions, interactions, interactions on your website. Very small stuff, all right? Don't, don't try to make a fucking, I don't know, uh, Facebook, but make something small. Just, I click this button and you show me a small pop-up. Small notifications, place, A small chat window. Some stuff like that, that will be very, very small and that will be very, very simple for you to learn. And also that you will actually see on the screen what you're learning, all right? Never, uh, never study something that you're not going to use. That is my advice to you. You do small stuff. When you do small stuff and you feel comfortable with JavaScript, then you can move on to becoming a little bit more comfortable but now with more complex javascript and you can open the door to the small libraries such as you can test a little bit of jquery you can test a little bit of react and you can understand uh, why people use them 
and maybe when you are doing for example the to-do list on vanilla javascript maybe you realize like hey this is no, I don't know some part is complicated this part seems repetitive maybe this is a pain point and maybe later when you go to react you're going to see how react solves that pain point and this is going to make you um, understand why people like react because you suffered what everybody suffered with vanilla javascript and now you understand what react can do for you and this is when it's good you don't learn react because i tell you to or because it's trendy it's because you actually understand the pain points of making a javascript application without a framework for example so now that you understand frameworks it's time for you to do a little bit of backend because you even if you don't want to do it forever you need to understand how backend works right so now that you've been learning javascript and now that you know a little bit of libraries and you're comfortable with the console and everything starting to look into node.js look into express and look into how to make a small server to show your website this is all very simple stuff all right but it's going to give you a very good view on what you can do with JavaScript and what you can do with the front end and with the back end. And after you all do all this, so first is HTML, CSS, then vanilla JavaScript, then one library, then back end with Node.js and Express, for example. There's a lot of tutorials and it's a very solid uh, project. After you're done with all these things, then ask yourself, do I like JavaScript? Do I like React? Do I like uh, Node.js? If the answer is no, at least you already have this framework of how to learn something and you understand what is required on the back end, what is required on the front end, and then you can say, you know what, I don't like Node.js, I hate JavaScript, I'm going to learn Python. But now at least you understand how you can make a website on the front end and you can put back, uh, Python on the back end, all right? Don't learn Python just because. Learn Python out of a necessity. Don't learn React just because. Learn React out of a pain point that you have before and now you're solving, all right? So when JavaScript becomes a pain in the ass for you, then you learn Python, for example. When uh, vanilla JavaScript becomes a pain in the ass for you, then you learn React. This is the approach that I will uh, suggest you to do. Don't, in my opinion, don't waste a time uh, focusing too much on databases, focusing too much in Linux, focusing too much in consoles, focusing too much on speed and um, all that stuff. Don't waste time on this, this can come later. But first, just get a quick landscape of what you can do and do stuff. So that will be my uh, roadmap for JavaScript and for front-end and back-end development. If you want to become a full spec, go ahead. I think it's more fun. But that will be my advice. Let me know if you agree or if you don't agree. And let me know what you think on the comments. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.